Tell you, Mo died like 6,000 times. I'm only gonna, if I attack, when I get to the point where he's at, I'm only gonna have like maximum 500 deaths, okay? Maximum. Fuck. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Crying on stream like Mo. I wouldn't struggle to beat that level as hard as he did. So it's fine. See, I'm kind of scared this game though because this guy knows why. He, like that Kindred's a good jungler, and I don't know who Frosty Nomad is. I've never seen him before. So I have a feeling that Kindred's gonna go like 10-0 this game as well. Why would you, why not flash in front of him, make him flash and then hit the, pe people don't know, dude, people don't know how to bait stuff out, kills me. And I think he might be dead. Maybe. I'm on my way. Also can I'm doing that, but hopefully that it helps him out a little bit. Dead the moment I get in range. <laughs> Alright, never mind, he's not dead. He's uh, playing it safe.
did QE, but the E came out a little slow. Fucking salty from that. their kindred in a while, must be power farming like crazy. They got a bunch of HP. Oh never mind, that's just Chase. Holy shit. Right? 1k HP. Same as me I guess. Bald yesterday and got tilted was so funny. Who's bald? <laughs> TF Blade. Oh. Dude, you get on top of Jace's GG. Well, I mean, technically, but 
A good Jace player would never let you. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you could probably check his LPG. Maybe he doesn't play Jace. Either, okay, here's the thing. Either he doesn't play Jace, or he's a very low elo player. So it's one of those two. D1 player? Yeah, so basically like D3 last season. Remember, ELO is inflated in, like this season. Diamond 5s were like, uh, like Diamond 3 now. Or Diamond diamond 3, Diamond 4. Diamond 1s are like Masters now. So the reset didn't fix that all. No, I mean that was that was Riot's goal. Like Riot wanted because every, too many people were stuck in D5, right? So they're like, oh well, we gotta make it. We gotta like show the skill discrepancy a little better. So they made it so Diamond Five doesn't exist anymore. Oh, and there's only Diamond Four up to Masters, and then they added more tiers in Master. They added Grandmaster. So there's they're just more spread out through it, right? So like a Diamond Four player in, in last season is probably like D1, D2 now. Hell, oh, maybe even Masters. I mean, the reset of the Diamond 3 Plus players, eh, it didn't do anything. Not really. It still feels the same. A lot, a lot of like people with like negative win rates got put down, but. It's still, it, the, the quality of matchmaking still feels pretty bad. If you ask any high elo player, they'll probably tell you that. One of the things is like, I, I, I think they changed something by mistake or something. Because in last seasons, when you queued up to play ranked, it would take you about 5-7 minutes, sometimes more, to find a match. And it would find like a bunch of challenger players against each other. Challenger slash master. Now, it just finds a match in 30 seconds and it's just like diamonds and it's just mixed up all over the place. You'll get like three people in, in one game that know what they're doing and the other seven are just very like low, like the level of play from those seven other players is drastically lower. And I don't know man, there's not much you can do about it, like at least in terms of uh, I guess they would just have to make their restrictions for finding games a lot more strict, but I don't know if they're gonna do that man. Longer waiting times for high, uh, waiting times with high elo players. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I don't, I don't like bursting diamonds every game. I'm sorry, it's not my thing. Otherwise, I would just smurf all the time and make fucking, I don't know, like clickbait videos. Look at my AP ribbon, 1,000 AP ribbon. It works. I'm just getting fed every game. Cap on. You know, like it's not. It's so boring. I'm actually like, I get, I get really hyped when I go against like, a good player nowadays, top lane, because I'm so used to going against diamond players by now that it's like, mm. I'm just used to it by now, but if I go against like a really good top laner, like, I don't know, like TF played impact, all these people, I'm like, yes, it's going to be a good match. We're going to know what we're doing. But the rest of the game is just like, oh, resident sleeper. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, right, against this Jace. I'm, I'm just kind of just face bashing into him and it's working. It shouldn't be working, but he doesn't know how to punish me.
See, like, what? what is this? Well, what is this thing he just in here? Actually, wait, there's four of them up here. Never mind, he's a genius. He's actually, he's actually just a genius. I was like, what is he doing here? Four people, five people show up. I'm like, oh, that's what he's doing. Never mind. He's just, he's just way too fucking good. But like the lane movements, the way he kites, everything is just so slow and sluggish, right? It's really, really wonky. He's gonna change in range form, and I'm gonna kill him in, in a second here. No? There we go. See, so like, who the hell does that? Who changes into range form in front of Riven? Like, you, you guys see what I'm saying though? Like, who does that? What do you want more wait 15 minutes and I'll challenge or 2 minutes and some diamonds? Dude, 15 minutes and I'll challenge I would rather wait 15 minutes. Just moved to Europe. That the same thing happened in Europe, though. I saw a Forgiven complaining on Twitter about him just having pure diamond players on his team. Doesn't matter what server you're on, they changed matchmaking. Or they, they they did something to the restrictions of it, and it makes it it's making it really fucking awful for at least higher elo players. And if you notice, I'm not even complaining as in like, oh, I can't climb. The system is keeping me down. It's just, I just can't do it. Ryder is just against me. It's like, no, I, I get Challenger all the time. And any account you give me, I'll get it to Challenger, no problem. It's, it's just, it's just, the games really, really just feel really bad. There are a lot of challenger players move on to other games, but I still have like even in my friend list, like I see like 10 challenger players, 20 challenger players queuing up, and we don't get each other. We just get put in diamond games. So why isn't the system putting us with uh, with the other challengers? You know. You're right though. Maybe maybe all the challengers quit. Maybe maybe we. Should... Maybe maybe there's no challengers anymore. So the the new uh, community has to come in. Maybe they went to play some Fortnite. Apex, sorry, yeah, you're right. Your league partner, I appreciate those motherfuckers are right. I, I already told them, and, and like most of the other streamers agree this with the same thing. They, they've been saying the same thing. It's just. I don't know, man. I don't know how to fix it.
Got him. Nice. Well done. Spica sucks. Can't tell if you're joking. Spica doesn't suck. Almost every game I see him play, he uh, he does super super well. They're recording for Apex. Good for Bashi. Yeah, 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 man. I'm, I'm just gonna play Bashi from now on. up in Bashi real quick. I got to the new part in this game, so actually, I, 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 can, I can actually put the volume 